Hello, friends. I am so excited that you are joining me tonight. Tonight, I'm going to be making a handmade graduation card using the Bird's Eye View stamp set from Stampin' Up, along with the Sentimental Park stamp set and the Let's Go Fishing designer series paper. Who would have thought, right? <laughs> Not what you would normally think um, to go with these stamps, but it is going to be really, really awesome. Um, let me know if there are any sound problems. I think there might be. Let's see if we can fix that. Hello, Karen in Florida. If you are here and watching me live, go ahead, leave me a comment. Let me know you're here and watching. Let me know where you are watching from. Special shout out to all of my replay watchers. I love that you guys come later and you watch. So welcome to you as well. Leave me a comment. Let me know that you are watching the replay. Hello, Arlene in New Zealand. Welcome. If this is your first time here, I'm Heidi with Onigo Stamping and welcome to my craft corner. Uh, I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and if you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to be your demonstrator. You can find out lots more about me by clicking on the description of this video and then heading over to my website where there's all sorts of good information. All right, enough chit chat. Let's turn around the camera and let's get started uh, making tonight's card, shall we? Let me. Uh, let me pop the cameras around. There we go. Excellent. All right. So here's this bird's eye view stamp set, which I think is just the most adorable thing. This is one of the first stamp sets that caught my eye in the catalog. I was like, oh, I want that. So I don't know why, but I just think these birds are so, so sweet. They're just, they have this like hand-drawn, rustic, um, I don't know, just, you know, handmade quality to them or something. So hello, Kimberly and Terry in Waterloo, Ontario. All right. And then because this stamp set, it doesn't have any sentiments to it, which is kind of a bummer, but I like that there's more images in it, right? So what I'm going to do is I grab the Sentimental Park stamp set, and we're going to use this along with the bird's eye view. And there are so many different sentiments in here. This is a great stamp, stamp set to have sentiments for every reason. Yep. You had to get this set because it's super cute. I know, right? All right. Here is this designer series paper. And I think that I am missing a piece. I kind of like stolen a bunch. You know what? I think it's this plaid. I'm just going to grab a piece of the plaid. All right. So here is this Let's Go Fishing designer series paper. And it's part of the Let's Go Fishing uh, suite of products, which is all this, you know, fishing stuff, right? Which I don't have the whole suite, but there's some really great um, patterns in here, right? So we have like these fish scales. I love these fish. I almost, I just want to make a card just with those fish because I think they're really pretty. But then on the back, you get a plaid. We get some fishing reels. We got just like some water looking stuff. Whoops. Some little uh, fishing lures on our blue fish. We have just like a blue wood. Um, and then we have some colorful fishing lures to us too. So just some really, really great paper. For this card that I'm gonna share with you tonight, I am gonna be using that stripe. Where did the stripe go? Here it is. I'm gonna use this stripe. Just a nice, you know, I think it's pebbled. Pebbled path, just a stripe, really simple. All right, let me grab, let me grab my stuff. Everything seems to be chaos here. <sighs> Many of you guys know that I am getting ready to leave for like the whole summer. So I have been crafting up a storm, getting stuff ready for you before I go. Um, but it means that everything on my desk right now is just kind of chaos. <laughs> All right, so I have a piece of very vanilla. So for this, I'm going to use very vanilla, which is more the colors that are in that designer series paper. And it just gives it a little bit softer look. This is going to be two and a half by five and a half inches. And I'm going to start by stamping the books. Now I'm going to stamp these in my tuxedo black memento tonight. These are like outline images. So they do work really well for coloring in. They're nice and I don't know, they're wide though. Like they're super easy to color. So there's my books, and we're going to put a little bird on top of our books. Actually, it's a pretty big bird. 
All right. There's our bird. And I want to stamp a second bird. I need to grab a piece of a piece of scrap cardstock. So here's some more very vanilla. I'm going to take this. I'm just going to ink up my bird again and stamp my bird on there. And we're going to use this in just a minute. We're going to come back to that one. I do want to grab my pebbled path. You guys, I am loving pebbled path. Um, it is just, it's just a beautiful, dark, warm gray. I just absolutely love it. I've been using it on so many things. It's just a great neutral. I think it's my favorite ink color. It's just gray, but I think it's my favorite new ink color. So I'm going to stamp on here, let's celebrate in pebbled path. And then I'm going to pop that away. This is the stamp set on your to get list. Yeah, it's a good one. I really like it. <laughs> I'm going to grab my Calypso Coral, which is kind of like using a red, but like a softer red, right? It's kind of pinky red. So I'm going to grab the stamp that says your graduation. So we're going to let's celebrate your graduation. And I love the mixed fonts on here. So we have the, the like scripty looking thing and then the, the other font, right? Like handwriting and not handwriting. <laughs> All right. Before I put that away, though, before I put away that Calypso Coral, one of my favorite parts of this Silly Bird set is that there are glasses to put on the birds and a little monocle to put on the birds, too, which I always, you guys, I don't know what it is, but when you can put glasses on an animal, I think it's hilarious and I love it. <laughs> Oh, it's always one of the first things I go for. So I'm going to ink up these glasses in the Calypso Coral as well. And my spare bird that I have over here, I'm going to go ahead and stamp those glasses right on him. All right. And then it's going to be time to do some coloring. So let's grab, using Stampin' Blends tonight, I'm going to grab my gray granite to start with and some Calypso Coral. I realize my Calypso Corals are getting a little bit dry, but they should work. So I'm going to start by coloring in this little bird's tummy. I like to add multiple colors on these birds. And you're going to see that I do have a couple more samples that I'm going to share with you too. So definitely stick around to the end so you can see all the cards. So I'm just starting with the light and because the brush tip is really dry, I'm using the bullet tip. This just takes an extra minute. There we go. And I'm going to come back in with the dark and add, I'm just going to go over those lines that are on its little tummy and maybe add a little bit down here as well. And the same thing on the wing. I'm just going to add, I'm going to go over those lines on the wing. This is like my method for coloring. Anytime they give you little lines, I always make those the darker, the darker blend. And then I'm just adding a little bit on the edges too. Then I'm going to grab, before I go back over that with the light clips of coral, you love that I show multiple examples. I'm glad because I love making more than one thing, right? Um, before I go back over that with the light clips of coral, I'm going to grab my light gray granite and I'm going to start doing the coloring because I kind of want to blend that clips of coral into the gray granite. Since there's not a hard line there, I just kind of added extra red to its tummy. I kind of had fun with these birds, just trying out different colors. Like what other colors could I color this bird? So, and then because they're like not realistic birds, I feel like you can make them whatever colors you want. Cause they have that kind of hand-drawn arts and crafts style, I guess maybe is maybe the term I'm looking for. So I just went over a little bit into um, into the clips of coral on its tummy. And then I'm going to kind of do the same thing as I come in with the light, go back over into the gray. I'm going to come back into my wing here. I'm going to add a little bit on the top. Now this is the light, but you can see um, because I let that kind of dry, when you color over it, it's going to layer those colors. So 
going to layer them up. All right, let's add a little bit of the dark gray granite over these lines because we got to add in some shading here. I'm going to actually come under his wing. I'm going to come around the top of his wing, maybe up over his head just a little bit, around his beak. Maybe down here on his belly. And then we'll blend this in just a little bit too. And then while I'm doing that, while I have my gray granite out here, I'm going to go ahead and grab, I'm going to grab my spare bird here and I'm going to color in his eyeglass area and probably around the outside just a little bit too. Color around his eyes here. I don't have to color the whole bird here. We just want his eyeglass part. I'm gonna come up here and color just on the top too. There we go. And we'll leave him just like that. And then I wanna come in and I'm gonna color the books. So I'm gonna start by coloring the book on the bottom with Calypso Coral. This is just gonna kind of bring down that Calypso Coral down into my image. So there's lots of coloring tonight. <laughs> This is a really simple card, but it does take just a minute just because just because of the coloring. So, and I'm just gonna do light on there. I'm not even gonna like do shading, really. I'm gonna just color in light. And then I'm using the dark to add the different colors. So I'm kind of making monochromatic books here using the light and the dark to create two different colors. And I'm gonna grab my pool party. And again, we're gonna color the light. I'm going to come in with the dark and color like the, I don't know, the name area of the book. Do I have a name? I don't know. Just come in there. I'm also, with my light pool party, I'm going to bring in my little bespeckled bird. <laughs> is, that, is that the right word? I don't know. And I'm just adding a little bit of pool party on the sides there. Wipe my nose a little bit. I do have this tiny little cold that just keeps hanging around. I'm definitely ready for it to take off. All right, and then I'm gonna grab my soft sea foam blends and we're gonna make the top book green. It's just making three different book colors. And again, using the dark and the light of the same color. There we go. And then I want to grab my light gray granite and I'm going to come in here on these pages and just add a little bit of light gray granite in there. And then I'm going to grab my color lifter and just kind of blend that out a little bit. Because I don't want it to have a lot, right? The pages are probably white-ish, but <clears throat> it just looked odd when I left it. Now that little bird does have a little beak. I'm going to grab my dark lemon lolly and I'm just going to add a little bit of yellow to his little beak. All right and there is there's our cute little bird. Isn't he sweet? So sweet. All right so what are we doing with these glasses? Let's figure that out now. I'm going to grab my scissors and I am just going to fussy cut around these. So we're going to cut around the top and I am going to try to cut kind of close. Cut just around the glasses. I'm gonna make this little bird a little extra special. So just very carefully cutting around the outside of those glasses. Kind of, I'm leaving a little bit of a border, but getting pretty close. All right, so those are gonna go on there, but we're gonna pop these up a little bit. So I'm gonna take my glasses and I'm gonna grab some mini, 
dimensionals. I'm going to put some mini dimensionals on the outside. We'll peel the backs off those so they're ready to go. And then I'm going to grab my multi-purpose glue. And we're going to just put a little bit right here in the center. And then we can put our glasses on this little bird. And see, we're going to try to line up, line up the head. There we go. And I'm just going to hold down that center for just a second so that it stays in spot. Joe, you love this set too. Me too. I just think it's so, so cute. So I'm just going to hold that down. And that way, our little glasses, can you see that? They just kind of pop up. They pop up on the sides <laughs> just to kind of give it something a little extra. All right. I have a piece of Calypso Coral. This Calypso Coral is two and five eighths by five and a half. And I'm just going to adhere Oops, my basic white, to, or not basic white, my very vanilla. I'm using vanilla on this one. So just grabbing my multi-purpose glue. We're going to adhere this. Our card is almost done. That's how easy this card is. And the Clipso Coral is just a little too long. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my scissors because I don't want this edge here. Sometimes when you cut things, it's not exact. And the eight and a half by 11 paper, it comes and it is not exactly eight and a half by 11. Basic white glue, maybe basic white glue. All right. And then I have my Pebbled Path card base, which I love. There's my bone folder. We'll just give this a zoop right down. And then I have that pattern paper. We're going to add this to the front. And this is, I think, three, three inches by five and a half inches. I'm just going to put it over here on the side. And we're going to add our bird to that. So we'll pop him in here. There we go. Get that lined up. And there's our card tonight. So easy. <laughs> You're loving it? Oh, I'm so glad. So isn't that fun? You just get that little bit of stripe on the outside. Just a cute little graduation card. Perfect for giving. Let me show you my other cards. Now, if you weren't here Tuesday, I'm going to show you the card from Tuesday that we made. Where'd it go? Here it is. All right. So Tuesday night, if you missed Tuesday night, you might want to go back. And watch that because I made another graduation card with the set. And this one I used, oh, what's the name of that set? The Phrases for All stamp set. So the Phrases for All stamp set. And we made these cute little gift card holders. So really good for graduation card, right? And then this is this is the, um, the Let's Go Fishing paper. And then this top one is from the Earthen Elegance paper set. So there's that. And then I thought, well, let's make a cute little birthday or a new baby card. Yes. How about a new baby card? Oh, <laughs> I just think it's so sweet. And there we have that plaid paper again. I love this plaid. And our just cute little bird on there. So it says, let's celebrate your new baby. I use some of the neutrals self-adhesive sequins. I love these sequins. They're so pretty. They're like copper in gold and brown and another color, maybe silver. I'm not sure, but they're really pretty. So just a nice brown. And I love this pool party with the pecan pie. Ugh, so, so pretty. Now on this one, and I did this on the next one too, I actually stamped the branch and the bird in early espresso. And then I stamped the leaves in mossy meadow. Um, and you can stamp with the Stampin', the classic Stampin' pads and color those with the Stampin' Blends. It will still work. They won't run. Sometimes certain colors might run just a little bit, but not enough that it really matters. And I think it gives it a really nice, kind of a softer look than using the black. All right, so there's that one. I have one more. This is a thank you card. And this bird, I love this bird. This is where I said I got a little bit crazy with the colors because this one, again, I stamped in early espresso and I colored him in Petal Pink and then Lemon Lolly and Calypso Coral. 
And this, I cut out, look at this. I love this. This is that new nested essentials dies and it has this rounded rectangle in it, which is really fun. So, and this again from the sentimental park stamp set. So all of these sentiments are in there. The thanks um, for all the wonderful things you do, the let's celebrate your new baby. All of that is in that sentimental park stamp set, which I think is just awesome. So there we go. There are my cards for tonight using that really, really fun um, bird's eye view stamp set. I just, I love the stamp set. I hope you do too. Thank you all for joining me tonight. Um, next week, grab my Kleenex again here. Silly cold. Next week, Tuesday, I'm going to be live at 8 p.m. Tuesday night with the May card class. We're going to be using the gorgeously made stamp set. And I think you're going to love these cards. It's so great. If you ordered um, the card kit, it should already be in your mailbox or coming to your mailbox very soon this weekend. I tried to get those out a little bit early. And I'm going to be sending out the tutorials for those who registered for the class. I'm going to send those tutorials out to you on Monday so that you have them too. So hopefully I will see you next week. Have a fabulous uh, holiday weekend. And uh, thanks again for joining me.